guys. So I basically want to just talk about my last couple appointments that I've had and how I have been feeling at the end of my third trimester. So I am officially today 37 weeks and two days. On Monday, I had my 37 week appointment, but almost two weeks before that, I had my, technically my 36 week appointment, but I was really like 35 weeks and five days or something. So at that appointment, all my doctor did was an ultrasound to make sure that he is still head down, which he is thankfully, um, and that she just said that he was really low still, which she has told me for the past like three and a half weeks now, he's been sitting super low in my pelvis and um, she just attributed it to, I guess, me walking a lot. I'm on my feet all day at work as a teacher. And so she kind of told me at that appointment, like three weeks ago, that, you know, I should try to like stay off my feet a little bit more um, just because we didn't want him to come too early. So that was kind of like nerve wracking at first. I was like, okay, so that was kind of the first little hint that he was going to come early. So at my 36 week appointment, when she did the ultrasound, she said he was still really low. Um, she asked me if I'd been having any pains or anything like that. And I told her, no, I haven't really had any signs of anything um, happening anytime soon. So then she said that the next week, since after 36 weeks, you come in every week, she would do a cervical check. So on Monday, April 1st, my husband and I went to my 37 week appointment and she did the, um, she checked his heart rate and measured my belly and everything and said I was still all on track for where I should be. And then she was like, you know, have you had any contractions? And I was like, no, not really. And she was like, really nothing yet? You know, he's been so low, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I mean, I felt pressure, like where my stomach's kind of gotten really tight and stuff and she's like, Mm-hmm. And I was like, but I didn't really think that was contractions because like when you think of contractions, you think of like pain, you know, like they say period cramps and stuff like that. And it wasn't painful. It just felt like pressure. Like it felt like him moving. Like I honestly thought it was just him moving to like the front of my belly, which is kind of weird to think that how would he do that now because his he's head down. So it's like... You know, how is he going to move his whole body forwards like that? But obviously, I'm a first-time mom. I don't know what I'm doing. So she told me those were contractions. And so she actually said she was going to wait until I was 38 weeks to do a check. But she was like, I'll go ahead and check you now if you want me to. And I was like, sure, you know, because I kind of was already expecting her to do one. And I kind of wanted to see if anything was happening I was doubtful anything was happening just because I hadn't had any signs um I did start getting like a brownish discharge starting like Sunday night so that night before I had just started getting like a brownish discharge but my husband and I TMI warning had sex the morning before and um there was some blood and so I just attributed the discharge to that. Um, I didn't think it was like my mucus plug or anything like that because it was just kind of like a thick brown discharge and mucus plug, you think of like clear, yellowish, um, you know, like sticky mucusy with like maybe a little bit of blood um, and it wasn't anything like that. So I mentioned that to my doctor and she was like, yeah, I can go ahead, you know. She was like, I'm hopeful. And I was just kind of like, well, I'm doubtful because, you know, I didn't think really anything had started yet. So she checked me and I was two centimeters dilated. So that was pretty shocking. Um, I mean, obviously you can be two centimeters dilated for a long time, for weeks before you give birth and who knows how long I've already been two centimeters dilated. But yeah, so she said my cervix was buttery soft, I think is what she said, or buttery smooth, which is a good thing. Um, and that I was two centimeters dilated. And she kind of looked at me and was like, you look sad, you know, you should be happy. You started labor and you didn't even know it. You're doing so great. And I just was kind of like, I'm just shocked because I really like didn't think, 
you know, I was hoping that stuff had started, obviously. We are all prepared for baby boy now and we're just waiting and being in my almost last week of work, next week will be my last week of work, I'm like ready to be done at this point. Um, but I just really was doubtful. I didn't want to have my hopes up, I guess. And so that was pretty exciting. So then um, the doctor basically just said to watch out for more regular, stronger contractions. And um, I should have had an appointment next Monday, but my doctor's actually on call and will be at the hospital. So she was like, if I don't see you at the hospital on Monday, then I'll see you at our appointment on Wednesday. So I have an appointment next Wednesday, which is so weird to think like, I was so excited about having an appointment every week. And now it's gonna be a week and a half until I see my doctor again and I'm already two centimeters dilated. So I'm like, like I hope we don't get to this appointment next week and I haven't progressed at all. That would be like, ugh, like I'm definitely gonna be closer to my due date then. So yeah, basically um, right now, now that I know that what I've been feeling is contractions, I feel like I'm almost more sensitive to them just because before I kind of ignored it, I thought it was him moving around and they weren't painful, so I wasn't really paying attention to them. And now I'm paying attention to them because I'm like, you know, are they getting more consistent? Is this stronger than the last one I felt? So um, it's definitely feeling more real now. My husband, I think, was not freaked out by that appointment, but he we left the appointment and he's like, okay, we need to go home so I can pack my bag. Because it's just like, you go so long with nothing happening, especially like, I haven't had any complications or anything, and you know, besides just getting a lot slower these days from being so big, um, and just being really tired at night, I haven't really complained, you know, about anything, so I think now all of a sudden noticing that my body is like starting to do stuff and starting to prepare, it's like, okay, even though I'm not feeling like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna have this baby tomorrow, like I'm ready to just pop, my body's still doing stuff and still getting ready. So I think he definitely will be early at this point, but whether that's like next week or the week before my due date, um, spring break week, we don't know yet. So we will just have to wait and see. But basically after the appointment, um, we went to get something to eat and we called my mom on the phone to tell her because of course I had to tell my mom, you know, that I just got checked and that I was already starting to dilate. So I'll insert a little clip of us talking to her on the phone. And so yeah, basically we are at 37 weeks and two days today and we are kind of just waiting for stuff to start. I'm almost beginning to think that he really is going to be here like this weekend or like early next week, but I still wanted to take maternity photos. Um, I haven't really done any photos. I mean, I've taken photos of myself, but not like a photo shoot. I want like really nice ones and I just bought a dress. It literally just came yesterday in the mail. So I haven't even tried it on yet, but I hope it fits. And I wanna take pictures in that, which I probably won't be able to do until Saturday because I work tomorrow and Friday. So I'm at least hoping that I make it to Saturday because I'm also getting my eyelashes done on Saturday, which I know that might sound like weird timing, but I just kinda wanted to get them done. It was a gift for my birthday in January and I just still haven't gotten them done, so I wanted to get those done, you know, I've had them done before and it's just nice. I know I'm not gonna be putting on makeup. I know I'm not gonna be putting on makeup after a baby is born and just knowing that I'll have those done and it just kind of, that's really all I do anyways. Like you can obviously tell I don't wear a lot of makeup, but um, I will put on mascara or else I basically don't have any eyelashes. So having my eyelashes done will just make me feel like I already look put together, I guess. And if you look good, you feel good. So I'm hoping that that will just kind of help with postpartum a little bit. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. And we are definitely on baby watch. So we'll see how much longer baby boy wants to 
keep cooking and hopefully it won't be too long before he makes his arrival. So before I go, let me do a quick bump date just so that I can document what I'm looking like at 37 weeks. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.